Hi guys, today we're going to solve another problem in heat transfer involving conduction. So I think this is the fourth problem in conduction na sasagutan natin. So we already know the basics and the equations na gagamitin natin. No? So here's our problem. A furnace wall is constructed of fire brick 6 inches thick. The temperature of the inside wall is 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. And the temperature of the outside wall is 175 degree Fahrenheit. If the mean thermal conductivity under this condition is 0 0.17 BTU per R feet degree Fahrenheit, what is the rate of heat loss through 10 square feet of wall surface? So first, identify muna natin yung mga given natin dito sa ating illustration. Okay, given that this is our fire brick furnace wall. Okay, so let's say this is from the inside going to the wall. So this will be our T1. Okay, so this will be coming from inside. And as per our given here, our T1 is equal to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. No? So let me write that here. T1 is equal to 1000 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then it's coming out here let's say so this will be our temperature 2 and our temperature 2 is the temperature outside the wall which is 175 degrees Fahrenheit okay so tingnan natin kung ano pa yung mga given natin if the mean thermal conductivity under this condition is 0 0.17 BTU per R feet K degree Fahrenheit. So given ang ating K, which is 0 0.17 BTU per R feet degree Fahrenheit. Okay? So, ano pa? What is the rate of heat loss? Kaya ang inahanap sa atin is yung rate ng heat loss, which is Q through 10 square feet of the wall surface. So, granting that the area of our wall, okay, is equal to 10 square feet. Okay, so I think nakuha na natin lahat ng given. Oh, itong ano pala, itong thickness natin, okay? The fire brick thickness, which is 6 inches, no? So, if this is our x1, and this is our x2. Our thickness is delta x, di ba? So, delta x is equal to x1 minus x2. And that, that means our delta x is equal to 6 inches. Okay? So, nakuha na natin lahat ng ating mga given. Now, base sa previous na mga nasolve na nating problem, we know that we will be using this equation. Q over A is equal to K T1 minus T2 over X1 minus X2, okay? In which our T1 minus T2 is also uh, delta T and our X1 minus X2 is our delta X, right? Now, what we are looking for is the rate of heat loss, okay, which is our Q. So that means we will be isolating itong ating variable na Q. So that means we have here K A delta T over delta X. Okay, so I think na banggit din natin to sa previous lecture natin that sometimes this is written this way. Uh, delta T over delta X over k a no? so nilipat natin to sa ating denominator in which actually this whole denominator na nakikita natin dito which is delta x over k a is also what we call the resistance no so that means our r resistance is equal to delta x over k a okay so uh, that means we can write it this way we have Q is equal to delta T over R. Okay? So, we'll not be using this. Pinakita ko lang siya kasi once we start solving for 
uh, conduction involving series of walls. Okay? So, mas madali natin siyang uh, ma-identify or ma-analyze if we are using R as our resistance, no? So, you will see once na nakarating na tayo dun sa subject natin. Ngayon. So, for now, we're going to use this one to solve our problem, no? So, we have Q is equal to K A delta T over delta X. Okay? So, now, our K is 0 0.17 uh, in which it is in BTU per um, R feet degree Fahrenheit. Okay, then we'll be multiplying that to our area. Our area is 10 feet squared. Okay, so we have 10 feet squared times our delta T. Our delta T is, okay, uh, our T1 which is 1,300 minus 175. So we have 1,300 minus 175 and this is in degree Fahrenheit, okay? Then we will be dividing this to our thickness, which is delta X. And our delta X is uh, 6 inches, no? So we need to convert that into feet. Dahil our denominator here for our K, K is expressed in feet. Okay, so we have here 12 inches in one foot okay so now we can check our dimension no? our units para makita natin kung we will be able to get yung ating hinahanap na uh, rate of heat loss okay so uh, we have here in degree Fahrenheit which will be cancelled out okay this is in feet squared in which will be cancelled out uh, from our K and from our thickness, no? Then, our inches here will be cancelled out as well. So, ang maiwan sa atin is yung unit na BTU per R. So, which is our heat loss, no? Yung rate ng ating heat loss. So, now we can solve for our Q. Our Q is equal to, let's use our calculator. So, we have, unahin ko itong nasa loob ng parenthesis natin, 1,300 minus 175. Para dire-direcho na tayo. Times 10 times 0 0.17. Okay, then we'll be multiplying that by 12 because nasa denominator natin siya rito. No? So, times 12. Then, divided by 6. Okay? So, our answer here is 3,825 BTU per R. And this is actually our answer for this problem. So, uh, naka-apat na problems na tayo, I think, in conduction. So, I think we can start solving our topic. So, probably by next video natin, we will start solving yung conduction in series. Okay? So, with all of that and more, I will see you in our next video. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.